Welcome back to the 100 baby challenge where Sarah is trying to have as many baby as, as possible. We, for now we only have one toddler Aiden, we've got two children and two teenagers. I have gone ahead and downloaded some of your donors from the gallery and I must say there are some beauties in there. And checking the family tree, I can see Sarah has 16 children at the moment. We need <laughs> a lot and she is not done yet. So uh, we'll be visiting your donors this episode and the next episodes because I've downloaded a lot of them. You might, be, you might see them wandering around the world. And uh, yes, just let's uh, get these children aged up. The children are starting to wake up, so I'm gonna take care of their needs before they go to school. Of course, they all stayed up way too late last night working on their skills and their homework, like they always do. But you know, <laughs> it's life in a 100 baby challenge. Sarah's needs are perfect, so I'm just gonna have her continue teaching this one toddler we have, which is a luxury, and of course he is mad. But she still gets him to do what she wants because he is an awesome parent. The children are all going to school. I am having them study hard so they will be become uh, better students. When they are a students, I can age them up. All the children are at school and Aiden was so tired so he has gone to sleep. I've had Sarah tidy up the house a bit so now she has time to paint as she keeps wanting to get a drink from the globe. <laughs> it's because we've got used community as one of the neighborhood action plans I think. I do not want a job. Thank you. She also keeps getting job offers. It's uh, getting pretty annoying. She is in her second trimester so I'm thinking she will give birth in within two days at least. The meal has been delivered, so let's see if we have any good stuff. Oh yes, so many, so many toys we can sell. Awesome, and she also got some paintings done in her inventory. So we can just uh, sell them too. Not that we need the money, but it's, I think it's a good thing to save up a little bit for when we need. Last episode she completed the super parent aspiration, so I was thinking since she is trying to gain more money, we can do the fabulously wealthy aspiration. She already <laughs> completed so many milestones, oh, this feels a bit like cheating though. Oh, and here we go with the achievements again. It's like the last episode, it's, it feels like they're resetting every time I, uh, I load back into this game. I don't know why. It's weird. It's, it's, I already got all these achievements. So strange. Come on, come on. Very overpriced paintings for everyone. And all the children has got, have come back from school and they're all doing not so good. Oh, he is mortified. He is an A student though, so I could age him up, but if I do so now, he will die from embarrassment. So I'm gonna have him jog to clear mind, just to get that moodlet gone. And let's see, the other students, this shouldn't be uh, A students yet. No, she's still a, or he's still in a B student, and she's too yeah, they're all still B students and they need to raise their skills to uh, get a better grade in school. And I don't know why she is doing some uh, yoga, probably because she's tense, but she needs to get ahead on her school projects. And I'm gonna have them listen to the music so their fun will go up. Sarah is still selling those paintings. It goes pretty well, you only has uh, two left. The whole neighborhood loves her paintings. Oh yes, he's already level 4 from, uh, from a mental skill, which means he needs to do his homework and he will be an A student tomorrow. Oh, we got another 3000 simoleons for a painting. Nice. Oh, does she love new age music? Yes, of course she does. Okay, Noah is back from his jog and he isn't mortified anymore, which means we can age him up. Oh, he is so gross. <laughs> oh, 
poor thing. Well, you are, will be able to take care of yourself once you're out of here. And he is unflirty, a kleptomaniac and a slob who loves to knit. And has an impeccable sense of fashion. <laughs> And we got another achievement, of course. <laughs> yes. uh, let's remove him from the family. Just shift click your shim and you can all also uh, always remove or add them to a family. It's, uh, it's a really, really handy cheat. You don't have to go to managers. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> He's going to live his life. And apparently today is book day. So I'm gonna invite all, uh, all Sarah's uh, kids and some of her friends and then we can uh, just hang out and tell stories together uh, the kids are all dropping in and of course the sink is broken i'm having sarah cook up some uh, food oh yes of course i want to make a donation to charity a good reputation will really uh, help her find new partners and call them to a meal so they are scattered all liliana i I uh, already invited you over. Okay. Oh uh, yes, yeah, Sola is here. Of course, is, is she uh, last episode she got the three character values that uh, Sarah needed to finish her aspiration. It's uh, nice to see her again. I think still think she's a very pretty sim. I don't think all her children showed up when I invited them, but it's nice that some of them have. I mean, I don't blame them for not coming over. They had to work so hard here and grow up so fast. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's nice that, uh, that they are here. I'm just uh, telling them stories to uh, complete book day. Sarah and Aiden having a little heart to heart right now. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, all the kids are so tired. It's late, of course. Oh, they're feeling so bad. Oh, <laughs> no. Just to take a shower. What is this? Witness. Crass act. Oh, she she is unflirty, I think. She, she does not like when some people are flirting. I started sending all the kids to bed. Uh, let's see what Aiden needs. He needs all skills. Um, I think an impotty are already level 2. Well, he is uh, fully awake now and his needs are uh, pretty good, so Sarah can just teach him. <laughs> yes, let's do a, a night of teaching. And he is almost level 4 of the mental skill. Come back, buddy. Not allowed to go to sleep yet. Just just finish getting to level 4 so you can uh, age up tomorrow. Come on, stop trying to go. Yes, here you go. Now you're allowed to go to sleep. Uh, oh, oh no. <laughs> so close. And why are you sleeping on the couch? You are not level 3 yet. You are working on your rocket science. Luckily, we've got a book for this. Ah, uh, she is happy, although she's exhausted. Let's get your rocket science to level 3. Oh, yes, thinking level 3. Let's go with the potty. Let's get that to level 3 too. Almost there. Almost there. 90. Yes. Now you can go to bed. Good job. Our toddler Aiden is eating some sushi. <laughs> oh, a lot of stuff is spoiled in the fridge. Oh, that's... Uh, let's uh, fix that. The cake had spoiled too, so I'm having Sarah cook another one. A black forest cake. This uh, cherries and chocolate is so good. Unfortunately, none of them are ever gonna eat it. They're just gonna blow out the candles. <laughs> oh, good job, Aiden, working on that imagination. He's already level 3 thinking, but he is almost level 3. Imagination almost level 2. Oh, he is going great. Uh, when Sarah is done, she will uh, go teach him. And it, since his house is so big, his movement is going up too. Uh, Aiden is almost level 3 potty. Come on, Aiden. Almost there. Yeah, there he goes. And the kids have gone to school. Aiden has gone to bed. I'm having Sarah read to him, so his imagination will go up. 
And now Sarah can take care of her own needs. And what is this? A food fight. Yes. I always want to increase that one because then it will help out when they are home. I'm just having Sarah cook some more because she loves cooking and then the fridge is always stuck. The fridge appears to be broken. I think I'm gonna have her call a repair service. Where? Yes, how repair service. Looks like your place doesn't need my services today. Wait, what? Um, my fridge is broken. Okay, I'm just gonna replace it. Okay. Sarah is done cooking. Let's just wake Aiden up and uh, teach him some stuff. Uh, let's start with imagination. The kids are home and it looks like we have some A students. Yes, you blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Paulina. That you may leave my house quickly. She's unflirty, a music lover and adventurous. Which is a good thing because she wants to climb Mount Camarari. <laughs> let's add those candles back on and let's see who else is gonna age up today. Yes, you are also an A student. Happy birthday, Nico! <laughs> Xavier is very happy for him. And now he's gone to bed. It looks like Sarah is about to give birth also. Nico is got up his green friend and unflirty. We've got a lot of unflirty sims. I am using James Turner's uh, randomizer to randomize their aspiration. He wants to be a super parent, just like his mom. That's cute. And of course, Xavier is also an A student. They work so hard for this. Happy birthday, Xavier. And he is a genius and a geek. Oh, a very smart kid. I'm randomizing his aspiration again. And it's gonna be a friend of the animals. Oh, it is adorable. And Sarah, why? Are you t teaching him thinking? He already is level 3. Just read some books to him. He needs his imagination up. Oh, he is so tired and he's hungry. But he does have satisfaction points. So I'm gonna give him the mood solver. So he will uh, be able to work through the night to get his grades up tomorrow. Yes, I am evil. I am aware. Oh, such good boys making their homework. I'm really curious when Sarah is gonna deliver those babies because we have got two teenagers and a toddler. It's uh, it's getting qu quiet in this house. <laughs> Why are you watching the puppet theater? There is no no one performing in here. Just do your do your school project. Sarah is painting some more. Hey, get back to <laughs> School project, come on! Oh, sometimes Sims can be really, really stupid. I'm just gonna have uh, wash his hands queued up. That way, he won't be distracted by the puppet theater for some reason. I I have uh, done this many times. <laughs> oh, Sarah has gone into labor. Yes, finally, the baby, or hopefully babies, will be born. Yes, let's go to the hospital. And of course, it's raining cats and dogs when she gets here. Let's just check in at the front desk. There is no one at the front desk. Let's just... Oh, there he comes. Oh, she is not feeling well. <laughs> Is he showing his card? What? Yes, yes, I uh, really am a doctor. Here is my card. And here we've got, finally got a nurse. Let's check in at the front desk. Um, why don't I recognize these computers? Are they in the in the deep web menu? Do you need to unlock them or something? Oh, yeah. yeah, they're pretty cool. We can look <laughs> right through them. Okay, there she goes. And she has done this so many times, she's just gonna operate on herself. Oh, there is our doctor. She was pregnant last episode, she's not anymore. 
she's like, well, are you back already? Don't you have enough children? No, no, uh, yeah, I need to get to a hundred. Yeah, you, uh, you know what I mean. Okay, come on, babies, get out of there. It's a boy. I am looking through your comments. Let's see. Stella says, it's nor a Lucas for a boy. I like the name Lucas. Thank you, Stella. And we've got another boy. What will we call him? Emily says, Jaden, Mason and Matteo. I really like the name Matteo. Thank you, Emily, for suggesting this name. And if you want to suggest a name for the next episode, please leave it in the comments below. I must tell you that I am trying to pre-record some episodes. So I am gonna read your comments, I am gonna use your names, but it might be a few episodes in between. This is because my own children will be home from school for six weeks in a couple of weeks. And I won't have that much time to record and I do want to post a new 100 baby challenge at least once a week. So you will never go without. Okay, before I'm gonna let her take care of her children, I am gonna have her travel to one of the new donor houses. As you see all those light green uh, plum bulbs, they are all houses for, uh, for the donors. I haven't put them to unplayed, so MC Command Center won't dictate their lives and I can just use them as donors as I want. The first stop we're gonna make is my absolute favorite. They are eight bears. All different bears. I have no idea what they look like underneath those costumes. It is, I think it's hilarious. Uh, I believe Laurie made them. So thank you, Laurie. This is exactly what I'm looking for. This kind of craziness. <laughs> I'm having a... Uh, Sarah knock on the door and uh, the, let's just see who of these bears she thinks is attractive. I'm having Sarah sculpt her surroundings. There are just four bears here. Oh, she really likes the, I think it's a polar bear. Is he called? Yes, it's a polar bear. <laughs> let's introduce ourselves to them because I don't even know if they're male or female. <laughs> Oh, the, uh, it's a milfoy, so um, I think it's a, it's a male bear. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. I'm sorry, I'm having so much fun. I'm having Sarah take a picture of them. Okay, <laughs> the friendship. That bear doesn't understand for how photos work. I mean, it's a bear, so it's, it's not that weird. Let's just take these. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> But they are good friends now, so uh, this is, is good. Let's just uh, tell, tell a joke about penguins. Yeah, why not? The first flirts have been dropped and he is responding very well. Oh, we already got a first kiss. Well done, Sarah. Oh, imagine get, kissing a polar bear. <laughs> oh, she puts her face in his. Oh my. <laughs> And then there's all the bears walking around. <laughs> oh my, Sarah, what was that in your salt bubble? <laughs> that said, uh, do you want to have some cups with me? I mean, the, the babies of a bear are called cups, right? <laughs> oh, I, I am loving this. I am loving it. It's a beautiful house, by the way. This comes with the save file I, uh, I'm using. Two bears are sleeping in the bed together. That's so cute. How is he? Is he a vampire? Was just just his walk? <laughs> this is hilarious. Let's see. Will we see what he looks? Oh, his nighttime outfit is also a bear. Well played. Well played. And there's a yellow bear casually strolling in the background. Let's just see if she is pregnant. And for some reason she's wearing her hospital gown. It's a weird bug. Oh yes, eating for two. Oh, will they be sim babies or will they be cops? We will uh, find out. And the yellow bear is sleeping on the couch. Oh yes, he loves it. <laughs> He is really, really happy about this. Awesome. 
<laughs> Let's change you back into your everyday wear. Don't don't wear that hospital gown in here. I've put the babies back in uh, Sarah's room and look at those little onesies. They've got a rainbow on them in honor of Pride Month. I uh, I like switching up those those clothes and of course the crying has begun. While Sarah's taking care of the babies, I'm having all the children take care of their needs and uh, make their uh, school projects. Oh. And he is obsessed by the puppeteer again. Come on, just uh, just do your school project and then wash your hands so you won't be tempted to go to the puppeteer. And you are gonna do your school project too. And you made a drink for yourself. You're still a teen. You know, you're a bit too young to have whiskey. Oh uh, well, just uh, drink it now. You already paid for it. Oh, this is so cute. Sarah and Aiden eating together. <laughs> yeah, good job boys. Working on your school project together. Programming almost level 2. They're both working on a programming project so they can continue on the computer when, uh, when they're done with this. And they're not level 3 yet. Does he like classical music? Yes, why not? So it will upset his fun even more. Aiden is reading a book by himself. Oh, his his uh, skills are so close to being level 3. <laughs> oh, this animation is very, very cute. Oh, and he's putting the book in his mouth. It's, it's very, very accurate. Good job, Sense Team. And riding the rocking horse will up his imagination even more. And uh, what do we have? Yes, manners is always a good one. Let's get a mail and let's see neighborhood action plans. Free love is really handy for this one. But I don't know what else. Uh, creative art could be good for her, but that means that everyone will go play the violin at the doorsteps. This is a bit a bit annoying. Yeah, tech support is a safe one. It doesn't really affect the way the world is working. Summer cooldown tomorrow. Oh, it uh, could be fun. And she is in her hospital gown again. <laughs> oh, yes, that is uh, a weird glitch. I'm having Sarah teach Aiden how to talk. He's already level 2. He only needs movement and communication before he can age up. Aiden is sleeping again, the babies are asleep, so Sarah is painting. Oh, we've got Xavier and Nico home from school. And, oh, they are so tired. They are B student. And he is really tired. Let's just get him to sleep first. And you also go to sleep. The boat B students, which is really, really good. So let, we can up their skill and they'll be uh, be aging up tomorrow. Aiden is fully potty trained so he can go potty himself with those sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Polar rainbow bear. Uh, no, you already done your thing. Sarah is pregnant. We don't need you anymore. And I'm just gonna have Sarah teach him how to stack to up his movement because that is the last thing he needs to do. Almost there, 97, 98, 100, yes! All his skills are level 3. Aiden, I guess it's time for you to age up. Let's see, what's it gonna be? <laughs> Yay! Add those candles back on before someone eats it. Aiden, he is hot headed. And I'm using James Turner of Journal Maser again, and he is a whiz kid. Oh, I love the hair. The outfit is a choice, but I believe it's his pajamas, so uh, he is, he's forgiven. He's gonna eat and sleep. And I think I'm gonna leave this part here. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please press like as it really helps out me and my channel. I'll post a new episode of this 100 baby challenge next week. But I will post new Sims 4 videos every day. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye.